All right, this is Boxing with the Truth. I am the Truth. Today is March 4th, 2016. And today we have with us WBU Super Bantamweight Champion Tyson Cave. Hey, yo, what's up, Boxing World? And the reason we're talking to Tyson Cave today is um, just to kind of catch you up, boxing fans, on what's going on. Um, yesterday I received a phone call personally from Tyson Cave. Thank you very much, Tyson. And, uh, him and his team are a little frustrated with the super bantamweight division. Uh, the phone's not ringing, and a lot of these top guys don't seem to want to fight each other. They're talking about uh, giving up their belts. Uh, they're making excuse after excuse. Um, actually, we did just recently see uh, Scott Quigg step up and, and, and fight uh, Carl Frampton. They did fight, but if anybody saw that fight, it was not very impressive. The first seven, eight rounds basically put you to sleep, so you probably didn't even see the last four rounds that were semi-exciting, but not too exciting. I mean, personally, Quig danced around, used a lot of defense, and uh, Frampton just kind of gave him a boxing lessons and, and kind of pot-shotted him the whole time. And, I mean, if that's the type of fights we're getting out of super bantamweights that are on the top level, I mean, that's pretty sad, don't you think, Tyson? Right, I, think, I think that, I think that it's just, uh, I think that's ridiculous. If anyone saw that Scott Quick fight and Frampton fight, um, you know, for $2 million each, you know, um, shit, I'll do it for, I would have given me $100, I would have fought both of them the same night. It's just getting ridiculous, you know. And yes, they did fight together, but, you know, as, as a gimmick, it didn't create fireworks what it was supposed, what it was supposed to do. So what was the point? It was pretty much a waste of money and a waste of time of anyone even watching. I do give it to Frampton. I think that Frampton did try to engage I thought that, you know, that he looked happy. Scott Quigg looked like, you know, just like I said he would. He put Scott Quigg in there with someone with a pulse, and what did he do? He froze. And he got, for instance, only got one good punch, and it broke, and it broke Scott Quigg's job. You know, so for $2 million, you know, this stuff kind of sucks, you know. And just, I'm just, I'm frustrated, you know. Now Francis winning the title and gives up his title, but, but now he doesn't want to fight with Rondo. Well, Rondo, listen to me. If I could speak Spanish, I'd say this, man. I'm willing to fight you right now. Let's do it. I'm willing to fight you. Yeah, I, mean, I don't even want to fight Scott Quigg no more. Because everyone knows I can beat him anyway. So what's the point of even fighting Scott? But I want Rondo. That's who I want. I want to do something. I want to beat the man that all them guys are scared of me. Okay, well, right now, based on the WBA rankings, you're actually at number four. The IBF rankings, you're at number 14. But I still don't understand, um, you know, there's other guys in between, too, and nobody seems to be wanting to fight Tyson Cave. Why? I mean, the guy, you're not number one. I mean, so why is everybody so scared? And don't get me wrong, because you're, you're a very good fighter, you're an explosive fighter, and you're an exciting fighter, and people love to watch you fight. But I'm trying to figure out, like you said, Scott Quigg is boring. You just said, you don't even want to fight the guy anymore. He's one of the top-ranked no, guys. Listen, listen, listen. The boxing game has changed so much. Um, nobody wants to lose. Nobody wants to lose. Nobody wants to lose their own. And that's the problem with this game. My own's been gone. You know, I mean, really, Casey took my L. I didn't train for the fight. Really, Casey beat my ass. Oh, well, well, I got back to the gym. I moved on. Where is he now? He's no one. Who wins in the end? So, um, you know, the other two losses, who cares? So, right now, I've got one loss. Um, I don't care about that, though. I want to fight the best. So he's the best. Um, you know, I got a WVU world title. The people say, oh, well, it's not a recognized thing. Let me tell you something right now. What makes their belt better than my belt? It's an effing belt. Who cares about the belt? I don't do it for the belt. They got a whole collection of belts. They got seven of them at my house right now. You know what all them belts do for me? They just flex up. I gotta get I gotta get them made to come over and clean my damn belt every every second every second week. You know what I mean? So after the belt, I just want to fight the best. Francis, you're saying right now that you're the best. Well, no, you're not. You won't fight Rosando. I know I can fight Rosando. What's Rosando? Forty-seven. I kick his ass. Just give me the shot. Even Rosando right now. Okay, now I know you I know you want Redondo, but how about some of these other guys first to make some exciting fights? What about no Nito Denaire? Why not him? I swear to God to you, ask you can call Donaire right now and I tell him he would never say I'm a liar. We I barely he was looking for this fight here. We've already approached his people twice. 
the fight in the Nino Donaire. Why does the Nino Donaire, and the Nino Donaire, don't get me wrong, he's one of the best fighters I've ever seen in my life. I got a lot of respect for the Nino. I don't even put the Nino in the class. The Nino's the guy that's on his way out. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's a nice guy. I know the Nino will fight anyone. But, you know what I mean? Right now, I think the Nino Donaire's going to have, you know, for his legacy team, have a couple more fights. You, you might see him fight twice more, in my, in my opinion. I don't even want to talk about him. I want to talk about, like, Santa Cruz. Now, Santa Cruz did beat Ahmed Mahrez. Yes, he looked good. But then he went, took a step back and he fought Martinez. Why is Martinez getting a shot? He's not even freaking right. He's not even right. I'm fourth in the world. I have a, I have a world title. I'm, I'm, I'm 14th in the IBF. I don't understand. Why? Because nobody wants to lose. That's the problem. They don't want to lose. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, let's see what Scott, let's see, let me tell you what Scott Clay's going to do. I've already cut the damn play. Scott Quick, um, um, Frampton just vacated, so now he doesn't have to fight Rosando. Rosando's going to try to fight someone else. Scott Quick's going to get another fight and become the 122 WBA champion. Okay, so oh. how about fighting the guy that's right above you, Jesse uh, Magnolato, or Magnolano? What about him? Who's he? I'll beat his ass, too. Well, if I'm going to fight anyone, I want one of the champions. But if Jesse wants it, Jesse can get it, too. Anybody on the list can get it. Anyone can get it. But what I'm saying is, is I want my title shot. It's 2016. I deserve my title shot. Ask him, Don, look at that little prick. He's fighting this week against the guy 23 and 11 for a WBC interim world championship. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, maybe I should lose a couple of fights and I guarantee I'll get a world title. Okay, well, what about the but the WBC champion, uh, Julio uh, Ceja? You think he's, you think Samson, the guy that, I, that the guy that we left, you think Samson's going to put me in with one of his fighters and you think that I would go in against one of Samson's fighters again? You saw what happened to me last time and I was getting promoted by Samson. But he can get his asshole too. He can get it. He wants it. He can get it. So basically, once again, like you just said a minute ago, anybody on the list you're willing to step anybody in the ring with? Anybody on the list can get it. But I want, I want one of the champions. Like, you know what I mean? Like that state. Actually, um, take the, what's that guy? Say it. He just lost his title this week, last weekend, to um, Rubio, or to the, um, Rui. Hugo, Hugo Rui. He got knocked out in the first round. The so W122 uh, WBC champion got knocked out. You want Guillermo, though, bottom line. I want him, or, yeah, I want him. I, I think that that's what I have to do. That's what I beat his ass and get in the path of power. You know what I mean? Either that or that little, what's that little chocolate guy? He, he moving up to 18? <laughs> Chocolito? I'm not sure what he's doing. What about, uh, what about? I heard, I, I, I heard he's moving up to 18. He can get it too. Well, how about a fight with, with Shingo Wake to get to, to Frampton? With who? Shingo Wake. He's number one in the IBF. Call him up for me. I've never even heard of him, so I definitely, he can definitely get it. Like I said, anybody can get it. I'm not playing this shit. Anybody can get it. And I'm not even going to play with them. Usually I embarrass them and make them look stupid. I'm, no, this time I'm, I'm, I'm hurting people. I'm messing people up this shit. All right, so put out the names right, right now, all the ones that you actually want to fight. Anybody on the WBC list, IBS, IBF list, WBO list. WBA list. WBA list. That's it. So you put it. There's about 70 names there. <laughs> Let's do something. It's like, come on. I'm sitting here down in cold ass Nova Scotia, freezing my ass off. Get me one of your hot countries. I'll come up your ass, take you up for drinks afterwards, and it's all great. We can be friends. And then I'll move on to the next. All right. Well, everybody's heard it here, man. Tyson Cave is frustrated. His team is frustrated. They're tired of the nonsense going on in this super bantamweight division. Tyson's willing to get in the ring with any of you guys, man, on, on any of the, the levels for the, the belts, uh, the number one guy, number two guys that's going to get him to the belt. He's just tired of playing around, like you said. He's up in Nova Scotia freezing. Get him over in one of them warm countries somewhere. Pay him a little bit of money, and let's watch this guy fight. And if you haven't seen him fight, you want to see him fight. Tyson Cave comes to fight. 
He's a fighter. And some of these guys, like we just saw the other night, and I, I enjoy watching Carl Frampton, but Scott Quigg did not come to fight, bottom line. I don't know what round he broke his jaw in, but he, was not, he, he didn't come to fight in the first round, and I know his jaw wasn't broke then. So that was a boring fight. We need to see exciting fights with guys like Tyson. A lot of these guys throw punches. They're exciting fighters, and that's the fights we need to be made. You want to say anything to your fans? Yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Sorry for being frustrated, you know. And, you know, I had a great year last year. I'm just trying to have another great year. I want to thank you, know, I want to thank you for putting me on the show. You know, I gave you this exclusive radio interview. I want to thank you for, you know, jumping on a break quick. And, um, you know, this year, big things from, you know, from Team Cave. Thank my father. Thank Brandon Phillip. Thank everyone, man. Thank Fox and the team, man. And uh, after I win this world title, I'll give you the first exclusive interview again. And then we'll move on. Regardo. Don't be scared. Don't be like France and them, Uganda. Don't get split on me. I'm in Nova Scotia, Canada. So just think, Uganda. I'll tell you, promoter, that Canadian money is not worth as much as your money, so you probably get me for half the price. All right, Redondo, you heard that. Man up. Give Tyson Cave and his team a call. Put him in the ring with you. If you're all that, you'll take him out quick, and then Tyson Cave won't have nothing more to say. But if you don't, he might just steal your belt. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Just call my father. His name's Robert K. Believe me, if he has not any of last year on Facebook, just can't look his number up. We're willing to fight anybody. All right, and you heard it. He's willing to fight anybody, and the truth has spoken.